Um, the gentleman from Louis Roger is sat there at the back. He doesn't know. Mark, do you know which one it is? The Christa. No, I don't know. I have no idea. No, you're kidding. You, you did really well the last time. I don't, I don't know. The answer is too many. I'm like everybody else. I'm in the dark or the light. Good light. So it's not... Um, so is it 13? No, that's Louise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need everybody else. 13 or 14? I think 13 is So 13 was, was quite sort of candified, wasn't it? Um, had a certain sweetness to it. Um, whereas 14 seemed a bit tenser, a bit tenser, a bit more energetic. Um, and actually, Nick suggested it, it had a little flavour of light cheese, which he persuaded me about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of quite refined and long, I, I thought. Fourteen, so was it Christelle? Um, and and fifteen um, reminded me of uh, in this very room two weeks ago, was it? A, a great premium sake tasting. And I'm not knowledgeable at all about sake, but I was very uplifted by the quality of these sakes, and um, I'll be writing about them tomorrow and the next day. And the, they had a, this kind of umami quality, which, you know, the sort of savory stuff, which I think you can find in, in Wine 15. So I'm assuming, and, and a little whiff of mushrooms, which to me is the, um, the Bollinger trademark. Not mushrooms as in decay, but but you know, um, gastronomic mushrooms. So I, I, w I would think 15 is the Bollinger. I would think the 14 is the Crystal, and I would think the 13 is Louise. But you just never know with Louise. She could just be, you know, playing tricks on us throughout the evening. So. You know. <laughs> Thirteen. So thirteen is Cuvée Louise. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> no? Is it really in this one? So we think it's Cuvée Louise. Uh, it could be Cristal. It's Cristal. And then that means that this is the RD, Bollinger. Well, yes, 15 was the Bollinger, obviously. But but 13 was the Crystal. And 14 was our dear friend, Kurve Louise. <laughs> So let me just, for those who want the tech spec, let me just tell you what they are. So, I mean, what the details are. So the Cristal is 55% Pinot, 45% Chardonnay. Dosage, very high, 10 grams per litre. Disgorged way back in 09. Uh, but it did come not from Mr. Bingley, but from Bordeaux Index. The, um, the 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 brokers. Um, dear Louise is 60% Chardonnay, 40% Pinot, dosage 5, disgorged 13th of September 2013, and then it came from the European agent for Pomery, so from continental Europe, if you still remember where that is. Um, and then the Bollinger was 60% Pinot, 40% Chardonnay, dosage just four, disgorged October 2014, and, and from Menzendorf, the UK importer. So that was very salutary, indeed. Um, and just, I mean, there is nothing like blind tasting. Oh. Leveling, <laughs> leveling us all. So I think you could say that Bollinger was one of the few wines that was obvious. Salos was obvious, um, and an awful lot of the others were kind of all over the place. I would say. 
Uh, have you got something to show? On the, what about the score, the overall scores? I don't know where Nick's gone. Oh, there it is. Let's have a look at the overall score. Ah. So Bollinger won by quite a big margin, but was that because we all felt confident in identifying it? But it's good that Krug did so well, even though it wasn't actually wi widely identified as Krug. It just shows that the quality of it um, shone through. So that's a very good result for Krug in a way. Um, we liked the Kant right from the start. Yes. Um, and wasn't that interesting, how well the poll regular vintage showed? The only regular vintage. I said, why did you show poll 2002? And I think you said, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it, <laughs> yeah. Gosset did well. Um, sorry, I should be standing here. Dom didn't show so well, did it? Mind you, we have got to remember in this ranking that it's all very, very close. You know, 17.9 there, down to 17 there. So. Very surprising that Salon didn't show better. And that was four bottles of Salon. So it's not as though it was a sort of one rogue bottle. Is that the ranking of scores? I can't hear. Anyone want to make any comments? Yeah. I thought the Comte and the DP surprised in the fact that the DP I thought was quite good. And I thought the Comte was especially very good. So I would have put them a bit higher. And I thought the Bollinger, well, Whatever, what we had here didn't quite show as well as as it's shown on the table. Really. I would just, you're talking about the wines. Yeah. I would just say very briefly about the tasters, those who are not looking at their iPhones at the moment, that it's very notable how different the levels in the glasses are. And I'm slightly ashamed that the levels in my glasses are quite low. Um, but I think it's brilliant that some of you have managed to identify all these wines, or at least guess, with not having tasted very much. <laughs> it's very good. You know, some people just had one, one mouthful over there as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all, I think we, sh um, we should say that the, the Pall Mall staff have served these wines brilliantly. <laughs> Not easy, not at all easy. So thank you very, very much for that. So what a fabulous tasting. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.